Comcast. I will never understand why the sliver of the moon is somehow inside the moon, and if, wait, oh no, did DreamWorks Animation marvelize their opening logo? No, DreamWorks, bad DreamWorks, drop it, bad, bad. Also including Boss Baby in your anything, ever. Also, also, where are the crudes? Madagascar, Turbo, the bee from B-Movie, what about Moses? First star I see tonight. How is there ever a first star you see if this is the sky you are looking at? First glance, you're seeing at least a thousand stars on a planet or two at the same time. Also, peroration. Needing to clarify a swashbuckling talking cat's relationship to reality. <laughs> no. Papa, he stepped on my face! And we will never wash it again. Encouraging bad hygiene as a response to your child's budding interest in BDSM. In order for this to make any sense, this horse here would have had to do a full 360 while standing on his hind legs. And if that happened, you show me that yeah. <laughs> Leaving your swords on the five second delay setting. What if you need something to be sorted immediately? You evoke the sleeping giant of Del Mar! With some fireworks? How does this town not get destroyed every time there's a thunderstorm? This could be set for the majority of the movie, so let's just add a few cents here for Puss in Boots surviving any of this. And yes, I realize he actually will die in a minute, so you might see the irony, but I see you f***ing off and me still giving this movie cents. Might as well get this off my chest right now. This movie is gorgeous! The almost cel-shaded effect of the environment, the use of different frame rates, the visualizations of the movements. You didn't have to go this hard for P.I.B. Dose, but you did! So go ahead and take the scent off before I remember this is the Shrek universe. Watching Puss in Boots fight with a giant made me realize that these few seconds are better than the entirety of the last Hellboy movie. Which is a good thing, but also you made me remember that last Hellboy movie. Hey, you wanna see something cool? Breaking the fourth wall to ask a rhetorical question. It is more important for Puss to draw his trademark in the dirt than to move out of the way of a falling giant. A giant that will 100% cover up everything Puss etched in the dirt anyway. Okay, okay, one more number! Encores. Seriously, why do people like encores? They never get announced, and you have to sit there and wait to see if the band will come back on stage. Do the lights coming on mean they won't? Or is that just a trick too? Just stay up there till your entire session is finished. Why is that so hard? Now lift your tail and relax. <gasps> Trust me. I run hot. Not letting someone do their job just because you're weirded out by butt stuff. You died. Duh. He was crushed by a giant bell. He should be reduced to a pancake fur covered bag of bone dust. Do cats regenerate, descend with new bodies from the heavenly ether? How does any of this work? Take it easy, doctor. Let's see here. <laughs> there was the running of the bulls in Pamplona. And this will continue to show us all eight times Puss in Boots has died. Because there's nothing a child likes to see more in their movie than dead cat montages. Excuse me, does this have shellfish in it? Yes, sir. Yeah. Dying because of your own selfish actions. That makes eight, Puss. You are down to your last life. My prescription? No more adventures for you. But at least half of those deaths were not adventure-based. Puss could die by crossing the street at the wrong time. This doctor seems to only exist to take away everyone's will to live. What happened to live like you were dying? That's right, Doc. I trust Tim McGraw more than I trust you. Treat? Why would your treats all be fish-shaped? You don't only work on cats. And honestly, it's a bit insensitive to your fish clients. Retire. You are too good looking to retire. Vanity. Well, well. If it isn't Pussing Boots himself. Talking to someone at a bar without their explicit consent, some people just want to drink cream and be with their own thoughts, Mr. Wolf. Also, Death Wolf opts for being a badass character introduction instead of actually good at his job. How do you ever expect to fill your death harvest quota with all this pussyfooting around? Why does Puss have eight empties strewn around here when he's the only one in the bar? Just reuse your glass, man. The bartender and the planet are begging you. Everyone thinks they'll be the one to defeat me. But no one's escaped me yet. But let me guess, Puss in Boots will, not for any logical or earned reasons, but because movies got a movie. I just love the smell of fear. Pheromone addictions. The only way it's possible for the moon to be this large is if Roland Emmerich is forcing John Bradley to spout bullshit science to Halle Berry and Patrick Wilson again. It's a funeral, so it must be raining even if that funeral is for your cosplay cliche. He was known across the land by many names. The Leche Whisperer. They called him the Milk Whisperer? The f*** does that even mean? Did he whisper the word milk in people's ears? Or pour actual milk in people's ears? I'm gonna be stuck on this for a while, you guys just carry on. You're gonna have to show me how a cat would make that pee stick, or I refuse to believe it happened. I told you health department people, there are no cats here! Oh, cool. We're headed into crazy cat lady territory. I cannot wait to see the fresh ways this stereotype is approached for maximum laughter. 
Respect! Scolding a cat for using a human toilet instead of using him to make yourself millions off selling the movie rights to Pickles, the cat who can pee standing up. These ones are just right. Striking a pose that matches your wanted poster. Are you trying to get caught? You're a talking cat? I'm a talking cat. Movie never fully explores the existential and ethical questions involved in a universe where only some animals display sapience. We can eat and talk at the same time. Eating and talking at the same time. It's over. <gasps> oh no. Want to my belly? <laughs> I don't care if he's a textbook comic relief sidekick in an animated movie. I love Perito and I'm taking a sin off. But also textbook comic relief sidekick in an animated movie cliche. So I guess I do care. Sleeping with this many cats on top of you and still having lungs that are fully functional. I'm no doctor, but I'm still positive that is not possible. Does the growing beard on puss mean that the rest of the cats are shaving every day? I'm so very confused about the ramifications of feline facial hair. This movie is at least 19% cats using the bathroom, and that is 57% more than I am comfortable with. Also, Mama Luna is smart enough to have a trough for feeding, but couldn't swing for more than one litter box. There's no way this bear created this perfect wolf shadow, cheater. Can we switch over to following Mama Luna then? Because I'm way more interested in the piano stuffing story than anything I've seen in this movie so far. Here we go. Look, I'm sure there are certain things giant, barely flexible clawed appendages are good for. Playing the piano this well is not one of them. Dead? No, 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 he can't be. Yep, the nose never lies. That grave would take one of the bears about three seconds to dig up. Why wouldn't they check it? No outfit that has been underground soaking up water for this long would look this good. Especially that feather. That feather would look like a clump of post-shower armpit hair at best. Puss is climbing this water wheel as if that's a sneaky way in. But this is just terrible castle design. Anyone could use that to easily scale your gates. They don't even have to be a self-obsessed, non-existent Zorro cat. Holy sh! those pies are still steaming right out of the oven. How has Horner not melted his plum thumb plum off? This movie is being super flippant with its wanted posters. Are all of these characters really wanted by the police? And if so, how terrible is the Storyland police force if they can't catch any of them? They're not even trying to remain hidden. Check it out! I'm walking on a magic carpet! Using a magic carpet as an actual carpet. Also, shouldn't it technically be a magic rug? Where's the number for the magical item complaint department? Because I've got words. Because I'm a Twenty twenty three really was the year of Pinocchio, huh? If it weren't for Guillermo del Toro, this five seconds would have been the best Pinocchio movie of the year. Also, if Pinocchio is singing about being a real boy while he clearly is not, why isn't his nose growing? The movie doesn't even know how to Pinocchio correctly. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cool reveal, but what's the scenario in which she's been in there this whole time? And why would she wait until she arrived to the home of the person she has bad blood with to make her move? They tried to hire me two weeks ago. That makes you plan B. <gasps> Aha! It is. Wait, the three of them have been in the same room as this conversation the whole time? How have none of them seen or heard this inane ego battle that's been going on for all the some time? Please mock me quietly. Says the guy whose feather is completely visible to anyone in the room. Would you stop talking about blooming pies? Focus! <laughs> I'm sorry, but every one of those little Lilliputians was dead long before she broke that glass. Unless they somehow vacuumed inertia out of that bottle. The best thief has won! Premature celebration! This idiot! Taking the time to say this, but not moving out of the way! Finally! You need therapy! Accusing someone else of needing therapy as if it's something we all wouldn't benefit from. Being this careless with your priceless collection. And everyone knows you never take a collectible out of the box. I'm starting to doubt his seriousness as a collector. I'll get you, my kitties, and your little dog too. Not subtitling your movie The Wizard of Paws. The Dark Forest? No one goes into the Dark Forest. Or comes out. I mean, if no one goes in, it's a pretty safe assumption that they won't be coming out, no? It's gone! What? It's back! The Cold War. Wait, what? Dog? Still alive? Why does Puss think Perito can hear him now? Does Puss in Boots even know how to portal? Because I don't think he does. Wait a second. So Ah, oh, f*** you, movie. There's no way you're getting that kind of volume without a hairdryer. This idea of a map that transforms the path based on the user is clever and stunningly executed. Am I taking another sin off? Is it possible a movie from the Shrek universe is actually f***ing good? Swamp of infinite sorrows? Artex! I don't even have a wish, but... Can I try it? So if the map gives you the path of whatever is in your heart, then wouldn't that also mean whomever's path is selected would be the one to get the wish? How would Puss or Kitty get to make a wish if they used Perito's path? The lack of rules given for this map is very frustrating. Wait, 
Is that? Putting characters on the map before they complete their journey through the sky sphincter. It's pruning time! Laxative slogans. You know, I think all you have to do is stop and smell the roses. But how did Perito know this flower would lift him up to where Puss and Kitty are? First one he sniffed just let him pass by. And if Perito can use the flowers to transport him around by simply willing it to do so, why continue to walk anywhere? This is stupid. All I smell is bullshit. Sticking your grimy f***ing paws in someone's f***ing mouth instead of just f***ing bleeping that f***ing sh** like you f***ing did f***ing earlier. Why are you so ridiculous, dog? What's your story? Is Perito's story that he's a discount Olaf? I mean, if he started singing about how much he loves summer, I would not be surprised. I'm gonna chop the heck out of this ficus LaRock! Good thing for our heroes, these flowers were set to stun earlier. Kitty's soft paws chopped like a half dozen of those things and they didn't so much as scratch her for it. I judge you. Why, sit on your shoulder and judge your actions and the quality of your character. I'm your conscience. Jiminy Stewart showing up here is hilarious, but why does he have two pant legs instead of four? Still, this scene is now the third best Pinocchio movie of the year. Congrats! Why does this work but the chopping didn't? I need to know why the magical regenerating flowers can only magically regenerate in specific ways. Take it from me. Never trust anyone. Whoa, wait, that's amazing! And also impossible. Pulling foam out of non-foamy water and then using a dagger as scissors to cut the beard off an animal that shouldn't grow a beard. Give us the map or else the baker man gets it. How convenient that everyone arrived here within a few seconds of each other. But how did Goldie Lock, Pops, and two other barrels even get through the flowers? And what was up with the river of relaxation? Did it have an obstacle? Did the other groups just skip it somehow? Oh. <laughs> Harley Quinn suppositories. No, no, no! No! No. You've just been crimed by the Three Bears crime family! Can we just talk for a second about how Goldilocks ended up here after breaking and entering the bear's house? In the original fairy tale, they try to eat her and she runs away, which makes sense. But here, apparently, after they adopted her, they all decided, let's have this young woman be our crime syndicate leader. And what in the reverse Stockholm is going on here? I I'm supposed to be a fearless hero, a legend. But without lives to spare, I am... Nothing. Although you could argue that in between the previous eight lives, you were simply a hero with eight cheat codes. So at least you're not a cheater anymore. It was a church with a priest and guests. And did they all just walk there to this church that apparently thrives in the middle of the wilderness? Where is everyone's ride? Not a big time crime syndicate, love. A big time crime family. Isn't that right, Goldie? Referring to your employment situation and your co-workers as a family. I don't care if they actually are family. That's still messed up. Don't do that. Hello, honey. Scene does not contain a willy-nilly silly old bear. So, I ran. Did you run so far away? Did you get away? Sudden flock of seagulls references aside, I saw you leave and it could be best described as a slow mope. There was no running involved. Sure, human bridges, hilarious, whatever, but how do they work? How is the guy at the foot end even keeping his feet on the ledge? There's nothing for him to hook his feet around and he's holding several hundred pounds of weight. You know, I never had much as a kid. Just loving parents and stability in a mansion. Millennials. You're horrible. You're an irredeemable monster. Indeed, which is funny, sure, but also kind of steals the ability of the movie to have any kind of nuance about its central villain. Am I sending a children's movie for not having nuance? Does a bear make porridge in the woods of varying temperatures? No, just a placeholder name, you know? I'll workshop it, okay? This is a movie where cats fight with swords, bears raise a human girl, and the villain has a cricket on his shoulder. But Perito knowing what workshopping means is where I'm drawing the line. <gasps> Up. Well, considering earlier you were very clear that You're the smash, I'm the grab. So you have no one to blame but yourself, Little Miss Shoulda Grabbed Better. This ridiculousness. I get that wire work is a valuable part of the history of filmmaking, but just because you edit out the wires digitally doesn't mean I don't know they were there. Chris and Kitty always rescue me when I'm kidnapped, which happens a lot. It happened one other time. Okay, here we go. You're all a bunch of knuckle-dragging, honey-scrounging, grub oh oh Munching, mangy, nugget, and your snooter. Calling someone a honey scrounger. Some hero. You have become a scary cat. Would you call him Wussy Moon? Wuss was derived from wussy, which was derived as a less vulgar way of calling someone a pussy. So I'm not sure that changes in the direction you think it is. I do love the smell of fear. Since fear itself does not have a distinctive odor, I think what you mean to say, well, was that you love the smell of the body's reactions from someone or something that fears you, which would most likely be a mix of sweat, urine, and feces. I guess we like what we like, but I'm still judging you a little. I'm getting a family! That 
That's what? A proper family! What, are you trying to give this character nuance? Just let her be an irredeemable villain. This is a children's movie for fuck's sake. Kitty grabs the map in one hand and holds Pusset's sword point with the other, and somehow when we see the map in her hands, it's already completely scrolled up. I can't even keep my yoga mat scrolled up with both hands, a leg, and my chin working in unison. Fuck yeah, I do yoga. Namaste, motherfuckers. Neither of these characters is a superhero, and they just jump down about 100 feet to solid ground. One of them landed in the classic superhero landing pose. These are vanilla-ass human beings, for fuck's sake. Pew, pew. Saying your pew-pews out loud. These two giant bears can't pull him back, but Goldie with her stick alone can do the trick. It's not even like the other bears are helping her. She's literally sitting on Mama's neck. That movement is all traps, delts, and tries, baby. Goldilocks must be ripped, bro. <sighs> Huh? What is that? Goldie and the bears are still there? Why aren't they still trying to get the map away from Puss? And if you say they had a change of heart, so help me, I'll hug you, but not a fun hug. It will be the hug where you feel like your insides are about to pop out. And right as you think I'm releasing you, I will strike your nose with my forehead and you will be covered in blood and regrets. What can I say? I'm a hugger. I'm not trying to tell you how to do your deathing or anything, but efficiency-wise, wouldn't it be smarter to go ahead and carve all the cat heads into the blade at the beginning and then mark them off as each life dies? You're just creating more work for yourself on the back end by waiting to do both at the same time. What's the matter? Lives flashing before your eyes? No. Just one. Liar! That flash started with you as a baby, and then went to this last life stuff with Kitty and Perita. That's at least two of your lives. Stop focusing on badass comeback lines and just learn to tell the truth. Also, the lesson here appears to be if you have the chance to save your life that involves no fighting, throw that possibility out the window and go ahead and have an unnecessary fight. Yeah, that sounds like a great lesson. Fighting is always the answer, kids. Pick it up. I know I can never defeat you, Lobo. Maybe so, but you would have a much better shot at defeating him if you didn't give him back his weapon every time it gets taken away from him. But also, this works. I'm not kidding. Wolf leaves after this. Keep watching. It's f***ing unreal. Not taking this opportunity to poke death in the eyes, Three Stooges style. Apparently Jack Horner went to the every villain ever school of not actually being dead, but waiting until the most opportune time to resurrect themselves. <laughs> Spanish Spinter! No! I did not need to see this again. My thumb still hurt from when you did it at the beginning of the movie. F like this makes me want to dig up Anton Chekhov's corpse just to tell him to f off already. Don't worry, it'll be fine. I'm sure they knew when they buried him that he'd be brought up again later. What have you done? I'm confused too, Giant Jack Horner. Puss still had time to make his wish. Why is no one shouting out a wish? What did I do to deserve this? I mean, what specifically? <laughs> Thinking we needed to see a tag scene with the governor character after the movie already ended perfectly. Where we headed anyways? Off to find new adventures and to see some old friends. Using Shrek as sequel bait when I prefer on keeping him far, far away. My thumb! Where's my thumb? <laughs> Song. Don't make me sing. He was known across the land by many names. Soup strainer, lip whiskers, and until recently, giant horse vagina. You're a talking cat? I'm a talking cat. Check me out, I'm a cat. Meow! So you'll keep my secret? A secret between friends? Just a secret. Oh no, don't get me in the middle of this. I just want whatever makes my master happy. I brought you a sword. That's not a knife, that's a spoon. All right, all right, you win. <laughs> I see you've plied knifey spoony before. Come out to the coast, we'll get together, have a few laughs. And you're supposed to be dead. I got better. Mine! 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 We'll get it back. We've been in worse pickles. Why did you say that name? Not the bees! Ah! What's the matter? Lives flashing before your eyes? You thought this was gonna be a street fight? You're goddamn right it is. <laughs>